Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Monday video. That's right, it's Monday, which can only mean one thing, it's time to go Blu-ray hunting. We are here in Maidstone today. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to Jordan, Movie Worm and his other half for giving birth to a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm afraid your Blu-ray uh, viewing has gone now, mate. You ain't going to have time to watch any movies. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find time in between changing pooey nappies. <laughs> anyway, again, congratulations. And uh, you can look forward to those endless sleepless nights, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to today's video at hand. Yes, that's my hand. We are in Maidstone. It is blue sky. It is sunshine. Uh, we're going to hit all the usual spots, Tesco, yeah, we'll probably do Tesco's in Ashford, but we're going to do HMV, we're going to do CEX, uh, we're going to do some charity shops, we're going to go to Crapland, also known as Poundland. The sun is shining, it's blue sky, it's stopped raining, the temperature is about 16 degrees, it's nice. I don't know what Bob Geldof was talking about when he said, I don't like Mondays. This is a perfect Monday, and I'm off work, so yes, this is a perfect Monday. Right, okay. What is out today? I have a little list here of... <laughs> throwing it around. Lots of goodies that are coming out today, so let's put... Let's put you into receivership position. Receivership. <laughs> Receivership. Steady on, Paul. Let's put you into... Oh my God, look how light I am. Hang on, let's dark it down a bit. Can I dark it down a bit? Yeah, that's better. Right, okay. Uh, now, there were a few I had to take off the list because the release dates have moved. So they've either moved to next week or they've moved to the end of the month. But are you ready? Because it's quite a big, quite a big week this week. Uh, we have Jungle Cruise. It's going to be dark now. Anyway, the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds, so we'll have to do with it. Uh, yes, we've got Jungle Cruise, which was only at the cinema recently. Uh, and we have that on glorious Blu-ray. We have a beautiful 4K. And we have a rather dashing looking steelbook from Zavi. Uh, I like that steelbook so much I decided to double dip. So I'm hoping to pick up the 4K in HMV today. Uh, the Zavi Steelbook hasn't shipped yet, even though today's the delivery day. So I guess that probably won't be here for a couple of days. Also released today is Free Guy. Free Guy. Free Guy. Yeah, I've only recently seen that at the cinema and all. Uh, that is on Blu-ray and also really nice looking 4K and also a Steelbook. I didn't really like the design on that Steelbook. Too much open space around it. No, I liked the film, but not as much as everybody else. Um, I thought it was too gamey, but I'm willing to give it another go. And apparently the audio on this, the Dolby Atmos audio, is absolutely incredible because it's Dolby Atmos. And apparently the overheads are insane. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we also have the Universal Classics Monsters Collection 4. So it's got four four movies in it. I think that's on 4K. Uh, from Zavi, we have the Dracula 4K Steelbook. We have the Frankenstein 4K Steelbook. Wolfman 4K Steelbook. And the Invisible Man 4K Steelbook as well. So lovely Steelbooks for all of those. I'm not sure if they're worth picking up, being that they're old black and white ones. I know the HDR will probably be really good on the, the blacks and the whites and everything, but I don't know if they're really worth picking up on 4K, but you'll have to let me know. Uh, next up, we have uh, a 4K release of A Clockwork Orange with Malcolm McDowell, uh, which is a uh, Stanley Kubrick film. Now, I got a chance to watch this for the very first time the other day. I will be putting my review up. Uh, but I don't like it as much as a lot of people say. They say it's a classic, but I've got different th opinion on it. But you'll see my review in a day or two. So that's on 4K. There is also a collector's edition as well. Pig! <laughs> yes, the pig film with Nicolas Cage with the truffle hunting, which I thought was 
was kind of okay. You know, one of Nicolas Cage's best performances recently. Uh, I kind of feel that might be a one-time watch. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is out today. We also have the complete third season of American Gods, which I really haven't seen yet. So, um, yeah, I need to start watching that eventually. Uh, we have Doctor Who season 23 with Colin Baker. Uh, we also have one of our aircraft is missing. How can you lose an aircraft? <laughs> That's on the BFI label. And a film called Nowhere Special. Okay, yeah. Uh, we have from Arrow, Arrow Blu-rays, we have Dementor. Which I saw the trailer for that. It looks bleeding weird. It's kind of like the devil invades a care home kind of shit. Yeah, it kind of looks really weird. I think he's had some really bad reviews as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that one up. Uh, we also have He Came From The Swamp. He did. He Came From The Swamp. That's on Arrow as well. Uh, we have Psycho Gorman on Shudder that's the one thing we may not have streaming exclusives you know like from Disney released onto physical media but films that appear on the Shudder streaming service seem to be getting lots of Blu-ray releases which is a really good thing so Psycho Gorman which uh, I think is kind of a throwback to 80s man in a suit horror type of film um, it looks interesting I saw the trailer uh, we also have Monstrum, which is this big kind of like demon-looking dog monster CGI attacking lots of Japanese martial arts soldiers, something like that. That's what I got from the trailer anyway. And we also have a film called Deer Skin. Yeah, nobody wants to wear deer skin, do they? <laughs> Maybe the deer hunters do. <laughs> yes, so they are today's releases uh we might see some other bits and pieces out and about uh now as it's near christmas yes it is it is near christmas how do i know it is near christmas because the calendar club has set up their stalls and you always know it's christmas coming when the calendar club sets their stalls up and opens their little shops so hopefully the calendar club has got their little stall opened up here in the mail but we'll go down and have a look and uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look in our first stop of the day, Poundland, because we know we love to pick up lots of lovely physical media from Poundland. It may have been a while, but I'm hopeful today. Really, I'm hopeful. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get down. Let's go and have a look, see what Linda's up to these days. I'm sure she's going shopping, uh, pick out a new dress and some <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's go and uh, let's go and have a look in power. What are you talking about? Bloody lifts and shopping. Okay, so we're here on the roof at the Mall in Maidstone. As I said, it's blue sky, sunshine, not too hot, not too cold. The perfect time for Blu-ray hunting. So let's go to Poundland. Okay, someone didn't want their Pringles. Warning, oh, wet paint. Why does it say wet paint? Ah, you ready? <laughs> oh, I've got a feeling that Linda's not working today. She's not illuminated. I think we're gonna go down in Veronica. Good morning, Veronica. I think your name is Veronica. Doors closing. Well, where's, um, where's Linda? Down. I know, where's Linda? What's Linda doing? Come on, tell me, woman. Have you seen Linda or is she out on the piss up again? Okay, so we're here at our first stop. Yes, Poundland. Let's go in. What do you reckon? Do you reckon there's anything in there today? Let's go and have a look. Well, it does look like they've actually had a new delivery in. Uh, we've got the mummy with the slip cover. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, born ones, plus also, was that the time of our lives? I know we've seen these ones in a few other stores, but uh, I don't think we remember seeing them in this store. So they've definitely had a delivery. Uh, they've got another mummy as well. So yeah, two mummies there. Two mummies, make three mummies. What are you talking about, Paul? Uh, born identity, you've got Tremors 5, Bloodlines, 
Um, we also have the Messenger. We have mine, 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 and loving as well. Uh, we have Doomsday, which a very underrated movie. It's a, it's a good film. Uh, perfect picture, perfect. They're all perfect picture. Yeah, the rest is uh, pretty much the same, but uh, they they have had at least one new delivery. Okay, so a few new deliveries, but nothing I really want to pick up. So uh, let's go and have a look, see if the calendar club is there, and uh, go to our next stop. Well, yes, the calendar club has set up. Looks like they are still setting up, so they might not have everything out, but. We can have a look and see what kind of stuff that they've got. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing here is a Star Wars family calendar for 2022. Very nice. I'm sure there's a lot more Star Wars calendars. Uh, there's this really nice Harry Potter diary with uh, like a reflective gold foil effect on it. So that's pretty good. And uh, here's another Star Wars calendar. This is the more traditional original trilogy calendar. And uh, they always have lots of animals calendars and diaries, dogs, cats, horses, that kind of stuff. For all your Bond fans, here's the an Aston Martin calendar. Lots of lovely pictures of the cars on there. And uh, here's the, all other movie stuff and that. Uh, we have Ryan the Last Dragon. We've got some Mickey Mouse there, some Paddington. Uh, we have Jurassic World. They haven't put everything out. There's usually loads more Star Trek calendars, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Uh, we, ha as you can see, we've got some gaps there, but we've got a Stranger Things calendar as well, which is very nice. And they've only got one at the moment, but they'll have loads of these. And uh, we have one Grogu. As I say, there'll probably be about ten of those all stacked behind each other when they finish putting everything out. They must have maybe only set up early this morning or uh, sometime at the weekend. And up here we have the official Mandalorian calendar for 2022, which I probably will pick up. Um, but uh, they were usually about a tenner to start with, but uh, if you buy them on Boxing Day, they're about two pound ninety nine. <laughs> okay, they haven't got everything set out. They're still setting stuff out, but uh, some good Star Wars calendars there. I should imagine we'll see a few other ones. No Daisy Ridley calendar, unfortunately, but I still carry on searching. But anyway, yeah, let's go to our next shop then. Okay, so let's go into stop number two. Yeah, Poundland number two. I know, what's the point? But anyway, let's go and have a look. Oh, fucking hell. Is that a bulge in your pocket, Paul? Yes, it is. It's my HMV bag, so let's go try and stop HMV, pick some goodies up. Okay, so into HMV. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look, Free Guy and Jungle Cruise. Let's go in. Okay, first thing I'm seeing on the 4K section is Free Guy. Yes, I did enjoy this film at the cinema. I think I need another rewatch just to get into it more, but uh, very nice, $24.95. And also Jungle Cruise on 4K. Two big, massive releases on one day. What's that all about? Uh, down here we have the 4K for uh, A Clockwork Orange. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up. I still need to talk about this film. Uh, so keep an eye open my, for my review in the next couple of days. But they also do have a deluxe box set version as well. So that looks very nice. It's a collector set, 50th anniversary, £35. So if you want to pick that up. And down here we have the uh, Universal Monsters Collection, or the Classic Monsters, which includes all four films. Comes in a slipcover, 60 quid. Wow. Okay. Uh, on the Blu-ray section, here's Free Guy. This is the standard Blu-ray, no slipcover, unfortunately. £14.99. And we also have Jungle Cruise as well. Again, no slipcover. This is a Disney, so... You're not going to get one. I should imagine they'll both probably have plain discs. Uh, what else have we got? We have the deer skin down here. I like the cover on this. I'm not sure what about what the film is about. £12.99, so I might need to look at the trailer and see if I can make out what it's about. Pig, yes. Nicolas Cage's Pig. I saw this a couple of months ago. Actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was one of his best performances. £9.99 if you want to pick the Blu-ray up. And we also have... Uh, what's this called? Night of the Animated Night of the Animated Dead or something? I don't know. Uh, 
animated terror. Yeah, okay. Uh, nothing, nowhere special. This looks like a heartwarming little tale. £14.99. And we have Out of Death as well. I might pick this up. I watched the trailer for this. Uh, intrigued because of Jamie, uh, Jamie King in it. So, yeah. Uh, we have American Gods, the complete third season. Uh, £19.99. That's a good price. Jonathan, what have you done? That's right. It's Ian McShane. Down here we have... A box set of all three American gods as well. How much is that? $44.99. So I still need to check that out. Uh, we do have the Doctor Who one. Uh, I was mistaken. It's actually the standard box set. Not one of those big deluxe ones. So this is just the standard trimmed down version. And what else have we got? Have we got anything else down here? Uh, oh yes, Vigil. This was really good. BBC drama from uh, Creators of Line of Duty. Very claustrophobic submarine drama. So yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. Over here on the horror section, we have Monstrum, which is a Shadow exclusive or an original. It's about a big beast that kind of terrorises lots of martial arts people. <laughs> and Psycho Gorman, which is kind of like a throwback to the 1980s bad makeup monster type of thing. The kind of stuff that Jamie likes. <laughs> Uh, I did notice that Paranormal Activity has a nice big box set for £30. Uh, I haven't seen the film, so I'd probably stand, watch the standard version. But one of our aircraft is missing. I know. I noticed it just now. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone, but it's £16 if you want to pick that up on BFI. And on the DVD premieres, we have Death in Texas. No one wants that. But this does star Stephen Lang. So fresh off his uh, Don't Breathe no, uh, number two, which I haven't seen. And down here we have The Gateway with Frank Grillo. It's nice to see Frank Grillo getting more and more parts, you know, front and centre, because uh, he's a very talented actor and I really enjoy watching him. Uh, and also down here we have The Last Exorcist. Uh, kind of conjuring movie type of thing. £6.99. I don't want an exorcist. Yeah. Uh, up here we have Fear and Loathing in Aspen. Yeah, I think they got lost on the way to Las Vegas. Uh, £7.99. And also here we have, looks like a boxing drama, uh, In Full Bloom. Malik meets Scorsese. So that sounds quite good, actually. £7.99. I did also notice another Shudder uh, exclusive. Tigers are not afraid. People are when they're being eaten by tigers, but maybe not tigers. And on the way out, I noticed all these eternal figures from Legends. So uh, look at all these lovely characters. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this film. I think this film is going to be an absolute court. What the bloody hell is that? Okay, so they had pretty much everything that was on that list. So that's pretty good. Picked up a couple of bits and pieces. So uh, let's go to our next stop. The hairdressers. <laughs> no, it's a bit windy. Now let's go to CEX and have a look in if they've had anything in this week. Oh yes, baby. Why the long face? Why the long face? Why the long face? Okay, so let's go into our next stop, CEX. Let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Okay, so they've got some 4Ks. They've got The Shining, 20 quid, that's a bit dear. The Goonies, uh, we've got some Star Wars ones for £12 and £15 and some Venom there. Plus also a double Ghostbusters on 4K for £30. So if you haven't got any of the Ghostbusters, you can pick those up. And we also have Blade Runner as well, £15 with a slipcover, very nice. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, we do have a Doctor Who. For £3.50. This is only one part of a, a season though, so I hate it when they split the seasons. And uh, we do have the Goonies for £6, so that's a good uh, pick up there. And down here we got, what's this? Something about Hitler for 10 quid. I think I'll leave that. Uh, we do have Lady and the Tramp, uh, the Diamond Edition, for £4 with a slip cover. And down here we have The New World for £25. I think this is Terence Malik, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we have Southbound for £6, also with a nice slipcover. Not sure what the film's about, but looks intriguing. And we have The Clone Wars with a lenticular for £4. That's a, pre that's a pretty good deal, actually, yeah. 
Um, not only one copy of Twins or two or three or four, it's about six copies of Twins up here. Okay, so next stop, British Heart Foundation. Let's go in, have a look, see if they've had any new media this week. Well, they have a Westworld box set here, but it's 12 quid. Uh, and also a Dark Knight uh, for 12 quid as well, Dark Knight Trilogy. Uh, they have a Divergent, which is still wrapped for about £1.99. Some Jurassic Park there. Some Game of Thrones box sets there and some South Park as well. All various prices in here. Uh, on the Blu-rays, uh, we have Deadpool, which is available in the 3 for 25 at the charity shop. <laughs> so you know where that's come from. Uh, comes with a slip cover though, so, and a red case, so that's pretty good. Passchendaele, uh, which William recently reviewed. Uh, we also have the Godfather uh, DVD box set there. Uh, and the Star Wars trilogy, one of the old DVD box sets. I had this, but I had a gold version of it. I can't remember what the difference was. Taken is a really good series, a Steven Spielberg series uh, with a very young Dakota fan in, so that's a good series. Uh, and up here we have Casino Royale on DVD and some, uh, some other bits and pieces there, some Hornblower and Hard Rain, which is a very underrated action film. Down here we have Doctor Strange with the, uh, the new retro slips and we also have uh, Thor as well and this is new and sealed. So that's fantastic for two of those. Very cheap as well. Uh, down here we have Snakes on a Plane. I love that film. Especially when the bloke throws the dog. Yeah. Uh, I noticed the still book we have here for DVD with Elizabeth, the second Elizabeth, and the other bowling girl, or whatever it's called. So three movies on a, a, on a still book. Okay, so let's go in our next charity shop. The Children's Trust. Let's go and have a look. They haven't really got anything new in here. They've got a couple of Blu-rays in here. Uh, nothing worth picking up. Uh, they do have Worst Case Scenario with the uh, Bear Grylls DVD box set. And also the complete Allo Allo collection series 1 to 9. Uh, this is uh, actually still sealed, so that's, that's a good deal. Uh, and we have the Monty Python, the movies, includes four movies. It's got a book in it and some postcards, so a very nice addition there. And uh, do you remember these um, jewel cases? I remember some of the movies came in these jewel cases. Okay, so back to the car. One thing I noticed about Maidstone every time I come up here, uh, no matter what the weather is, it's always really muggy walking around, I suppose, because it's inland. I don't think I could live inland. I've, I've got to be out by the seaside. Uh, living in Dover, we get the lovely sea air, lovely breezes coming up, whipping through the valley. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I could live somewhere that's too stuffy. I need air, actual sea air. Fantastic. Okay, so we are done here in the town centre. Uh, picked up a couple of bits and pieces. Five, I think, from HMV. Nothing from CEX. Uh, they had a, quite a few overpriced... Pardon me, 4Ks in there. A lemonade. <laughs> uh, nice and cold and refreshing from Greg's. Yes, not a sponsor. Uh, charity shops. Um, I'm not going to moan about the overpriced box sets because there were some nice box sets in there. Even though they were priced at £10. You know, some of them might be worth it because they've got lots of stuff included. Um... What I'm going to moan about is space. Yes. And I always find this with UK charity shops. The shops are never big enough. They always go for the smallest shop possible on the high street. And you get 20 or 30 people inside a charity shop. You can't move. You really cannot move because they put the clothes horses or whatever they're called so close together. You're squeezing, trying to brush past people. It's not good. Uh, I know it's probably to keep the rent down, you know, the the smaller shop obviously is going to be the less rent. But really, if they went for a bigger shop, they could fit it with more stuff. You know, look at... Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <clears throat> uh, look at... Um, what's the shop in America called? Oh, God, I can't remember the name of the charity place. 
you know, the big one, the big, I can't remember the name of it. Um, the one that Cinema Sickness always goes to. That charity shop is about the size of bloody Tesco's. So yeah, we really need bigger charity shops over here. Um, more stuff to sell, even though the rent's going to be a bit more, it's worth it. Anyway, we are done here, so we're going to move on to our last stop of the day, which will be Tesco's in uh, Ashford. I'll do that on the way home. I'm going to pop in to Lou and Claire's at the moment. Uh, so uh, I think they want to get Apple TV because Lou and Claire want to watch the morning show, but they haven't got any Apple devices. But I think you can have Apple TV on the Amazon Fire Stick. So we're going to go and have a look, see if we can work out how to do it. But yeah, other than that, um, I'll see you down Tesco's in Ashford when I finish up here. What the bloody point is having that thing? To enable you to use a bloody app to pay for your parking to get out of the sodding car park. And it doesn't bloody recognise where you are. You can't pay, so you have to go back inside the mile, down the bloody lifts, pay at the bloody machine and come back up. Fucking arseholes. What's the point of having a sodding app if you can't fucking use it? Twats. Okay, so we're at our last stop today. Tesco's. Let's go in, have a look, see what they've got on the shelves this week. Okay, so there's not much in here, unfortunately. Uh, they do have Free Guy uh, with a, without a slip in Tesco's. Plus also they've got Monster Hunter there. Uh, on the DVDs, they do have Jungle Cruise and uh, Free Guy as well. And uh, we've got Ape Monster Nobody from the last week. Okay, so out of Tesco's. They didn't really have much in Tesco's, just a couple of DVDs. They had Free Guy on Blu-ray, but that's it. No Jungle Cruise. Uh, it's a bit dodgy down here at the moment. Uh, not just Ashford, but Folkestone and Dover as well. Now, because of the petrol situation, petrol stations at Sainsbury's, Tesco's, you can't fill up during the daytime. Um, their opening hours to the general public are 10 o'clock at night until 6 o'clock the following morning. So if you want to fill up, if you want to put either petrol or diesel in your car, you've got to like go after 10 at night. Um, I've known queues at like 3 o'clock in the morning uh, filling up. That's if they have any. During the daytime, uh, after those hours, you know, between 6 uh, after 6 a.m., between 6 a.m. and like 10 p.m., so all through the daytime, uh, it's reserved for emergency services, NHS carers, and things like that. So they do actually have someone on the forecourt checking cars as they go in, checking that you've got your ID. And uh, if you haven't got your ID, they tell you to whop it and come back after 10 o'clock at night. So, yeah, so even though I've gone past the petrol station, I can't go in Tesco's petrol to put any well diesel in uh, because I'm not NHS so uh, if I wanted to fill up I've got to come back after 10 o'clock at night that's if they've got any though it's so dry down here right okay so let's get on to today's pickups uh, I picked up three items for myself there is another two items which I'll show you shortly uh, the first one I picked up, uh, I normally I wouldn't have picked this up, but I saw the trailer. I watched specifically watched the trailer for this yesterday, uh, and it really intrigued me. It's probably not going to be a brilliant film or even maybe a great film. This is called Out of Death with Bruce Willis and uh, Jamie King. And this is from the producers of The Irishman and Lone Survivor. As you can see, we have Bruce Willis here and we have Bruce Willis on the cover. I probably anticipate that he's going to be in it for about six minutes. But he wasn't the main reason why I picked this up. I know, I specifically went out to buy this for Jamie King. Bruce Willis is in the film and on the cover, but he's a secondary character. He's a secondary actor. Whoever thought that you'd be like, I'm not interested in Bruce Willis. I want to watch it because Jamie King's in it. Yeah, and the reason is, I mean, Jamie King 
is not she's not a famous she's not a really big well-known actress she's been in a handful of things you know she was in sin city uh she was also in pearl arbor but i've recently been watching uh, black summer the uh the zombie series and i've been really liking her character and uh, her acting in in the series uh, and as i say i watched the trailer so I, yeah i'm gonna give that one a go so that looks really good um to be perfectly honest I'm okay with Bruce Willis only being in it for a couple of minutes because he wasn't the main focus, the reason why I picked it up. But uh, that is Out of Death. Uh, next up, we have a new 4K for one of this week's big releases. And this is Free Guy with a really nice glossy slip. Really nice. Now, I went to see this at the cinema. I enjoyed it. I did a review on it. I wasn't blown away as much as a lot of people, but it was an entertaining, fun ride. I think I'm probably going to need a, a, a few more viewings to maybe appreciate it. It's got Jodie Comer in it, so that was the selling point for me anyway. Uh, now, Taika Waititi is in it. There he is on the side there. But I thought his character was really annoying in the film. Um, yeah, Ryan Reynolds was good, but this film kind of felt too gamey for me. You know, I grew up with Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Jet Set Willy, the Atari 2600, the ZX Spectrum, whereas a lot of the characters and a lot of the, the gaming-ish, you know, characters in this film are probably aimed at, like, Sega and, um... Nintendo and PlayStation and stuff like that. So I'm a I'm an old time gamer, um, and I, I I was never into the Nintendo or all that kind of stuff, and uh, the Sega. I never played any of that or, or owned any of it. I was specifically an old arcade, an old arcade guy. But uh, yeah, this is free guys. So I'm gonna watch this one again. Now this one does come with a 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Uh, according to uh, Spare Change, that analyses all the, the 4Ks in that, the audio soundtrack for this, the Dolby Atmos, is probably one of the best soundtracks you could ever hear. Um, he, got, I think he gave it like a 9.3 out of 10. There's so many overheads, apparently. So I'm really looking forward to, to, to checking out the Dolby Atmos soundtrack on this. But what we do, we do an unboxing because... There is the lovely package. As you can see, it's a really nice shiny slip cover. We do have some embossing, kind of like a silvery effect as well. There is the spine. I keep saying that, I keep thinking that says five guys. <laughs> I've got burgers on the brain. And then there's on the back there, yes, this is $24.95. So let's take it out. I do love it when we get slip covers that have got all that nice metallic-y metallic silver effect on it it's really classy so there is the actual 4k let's have a look at the discs shall we i think this is probably going to look absolutely gorgeous in 4k as well so i'm really looking forward to checking it out again maybe i'll like it more more than i did but uh, i'm always willing to give a film another go Okay, so we do have two discs. Uh, we have uh, artwork on both discs. So we have the 4K disc there. And we have the Blu-ray disc there. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so happy that I picked that up. Uh, there are special features on this, including uh, deleted extended scenes, a gag reel, dude versus guy, creating... Molo Molotov girl creating Molotov girl uh it's it's Taikita Taika's world welcome to free city and theatrical trailers so yeah definitely uh look forward to trying that one and uh seeing if I like it more than I did last time so that is free guy and of course the other big release this week was Jungle Cruise now, I already have this coming in a still book as well, because I just had to double dip because the still book looked gorgeous. Uh, not so much the Free Guy still book, because I think there was too much blue around it. 
but the, the uh, Jungle Crew Steelbook really, really look nice. But I do love that artwork. There's some great artwork on the Jungle Cruise, you know, on this, the Blu-ray and the DVD. So some great artwork. So there is the, uh, the front there. And then we have a really nice spine and then the back. Uh, £24.95. So I should imagine we'll have artwork on both of these discs. Oh, I can't get the plastic off. There we go. Okie dokie. Yep, artwork on both discs. That's pretty good. Love the artwork. So there is the 4K artwork. And there is the Blu-ray artwork. Oh, it's just started raining. Thought it was coming over a little bit gloomy. Yep, so there we go. So there's Jungle Cruise and Free Guy and Out of Death. They were the main ones that I picked up today. There was a lot of other ones out, like some Shudders and some, um, some Arrows, but I figured I don't want to pick them up just for the sake that they're released. I know that I like those and that I want to give those a chance and re-watch them. But for films like the Shudder ones and the Arrow ones, I can't guarantee that I'm going to like it. So I might rent them first. And if I like them, then I'll buy the, uh, the physical version. But that is not it because we have a big release week this week. I figured, why not do another giveaway? Now, I've got a couple of items that I'll be drawing this week. From the previous giveaway so look out for those uh, in the next couple of days but yes i have two movies to give away so we have a blu-ray copy of free guy and a blu-ray copy of jungle cruise that is different artwork isn't it yeah see both artworks are fantastic i love both of those artworks awesome Yes, so, yeah, where were we? So a copy of Free Guy and a copy of Jungle Cruise. Unfortunately, neither of them come with slipcovers. Uh, well, this one wouldn't anyway, because it's Disney. Brilliant. Okay, so all you need to do uh, to be in with maybe a chance of winning both of these, both of these are going to one person, is like the video by giving it a big thumbs up like that. Blah, 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 blah. Preferably not with dirt on the end of your thumb. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe head over to my instagram page big 101 and follow me i don't know where you want to follow me just follow me <laughs> anywhere i want to go just follow me yes and uh, stick down in the comments what is your either your favorite ryan reynolds movie or your favorite dwayne johnson film so either one of those or you could say both whichever ones you like but uh i will be picking those in the next couple of weeks just like my nose <laughs> oh dear me fantastic so that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it like it by giving it some thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and share and uh, i'll see you on the next video very soon next week is another big one pardon um we have fast and furious nine will i buy it who knows uh, we have a couple of other big ones out as well. So uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Until next week. Bye.